the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, God bless you. Hey, I appreciate you uh, uh, joining in and taking a look at our, our videos and the session that we deal with today. We, we had a good session on the 6th of August uh, dealing with, the, and I'm giving the title in a minute, but I just want to sit there and say, God bless you and I thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and leave comments if you want to leave comments. And we're going to go ahead and break these sessions down from A to G or whatever it needs to do to complete it. And we'll try to post them on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. Uh, those who subscribe, you get notice when we put them out. Uh, those we use by text, we saw a video, we'll send those out on, on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, but I really encourage you to take a look at this because I mean, I tell you, man, this is a great subject today. And let me tell you what the subject is here. The title is interesting. Let's talk about the fact is that uh, I don't see that put a time on it. The talk about the fact is, do other gospels give more authority to steal, kill, and destroy? When we talk about the fact is, there's only one gospel, but people have used the title of Christianity, title of their belief system, to justify another message of kill, steal, and destroy. Our faith, which is in Christianity, talks about loving one another and of the salvation of all mankind if they receive and they believe. But that's that's the choice they make and God gives us a choice. But there's others who manipulate the scriptures, pervert the scriptures, and try to use it to do things to, such as, and I call these categories in John 10.10, 10, to steal, kill, and destroy. So that's what we talk about. We use Galatians uh, 1, 6 through 10, and John 10, 10, and Philippians 3, 12 through 17. I encourage you to take a look at and read those scriptures uh, for yourself because it's very important. But I did put down here, let me go ahead and, and uh, show the, that foundational scripture, which it says in Galatians 1, 6, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of the Christ grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. And that's the whole point. It's not another gospel. But there be some that trouble you and will revert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which you, that which we have preached unto you, let them be a curse. As we have said before, so Say, I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, than that which you have received, let him be a curse. For I do now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Think about that. That's why we're talking about the fact is that we're going to show some historical records, uh, and I, you'll see in a few minutes, where... Uh, People have gone to, and this time, the biggest ministry of Christianity at that time, back in the 1400s, 1500s, 15th century, uh, was the Roman Catholic Church. I'm not putting Catholic Church down. I'm not putting, I'm talking about the, the individual who was in charge at that time. Not now. And not the whole history of the Catholic Church. But those that were in charge at that time wrote letters to justify slavery. And that's why people sit there and say the Bible justifies slavery. No. People did. And people did it using another gospel. Why I said another gospel? Because Christ didn't teach us that. That's not in the teaching of Christ. That's not a teaching of to steal, kill, and destroy. That is not the teaching of Christ. Amen? And that's what we want to be saying. So, I hope you enjoy this segment that uh, you're going to listen to this session. And, and the whole point is, people manipulate and try to pervert the gospel to do bad things. And I'm asking you to not let people anymore pervert you to do bad things, but to love one another. Because we're all children of God. 
and we all have the right to have, <laughs> to live in peace, not in torture and pain and oppression and, 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 and discrimination. We, we, don't, we don't need that, amen? So I hope you enjoyed the session. I did extend this, so I'm gonna cut it in some more. Hope we're gonna break this down to A, B, B, to G. But God bless you. And just remember, Jesus, Yeshua is Lord. Yeshua is Jesus' Hebrew name for Savior. God bless you. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Meaning no study on themselves. No, you know what I mean? You got to study to show yourself approved unto God. Let me tell you something. Go ahead. I remember I was in Korea and I was uh, I was leading the men's ministry at the time. And I proposed that we buy, uh, it was the Bible that was the, that was divided by day. I proposed to the men's ministry that we buy 30 of them and that we all get them and that we read through the Bible in a year that year. And each time we come, we discuss it and that we all read the scriptures for ourselves to encourage it. You know what? You wouldn't believe how much opposition mm. I got from the church, yeah. from the pastor, from the other men. It was as if I had proposed that we went to a whorehouse and that we all bought bought prostitutes. I mean, it was tantamount to the same opposition I received. I mm. was, I was, I just could not believe that people are opposing that we read the Bible through all the way from front to back. That's mm. a problem. I, I, I just couldn't understand the logic behind that. Mm. That's interesting. Remember, I told you to talk about that time I went to that first minister conference, right? Right. You remember that? Mm -hmm. I said, I said, I told, for those that didn't know, I, I said, man, we should teach people everything we know. Everything we know. And the minister stood up and said, if we did that, who would be in charge? Wow. And that has never left me. And that, based on what you just had, that never left you. So you, know what, you know what I told him? I told him the same person that's been in charge from the beginning. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Come on. He'd and still I, be in charge. And that's the gospel. That's the gospel. Christ said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. That's John 14, 6. For mm -hmm. those who don't know, is that all ministries should be, the preaching of the gospel is pointing toward the Son. Period. Because he is the way, the truth, and the life. Even Paul said it. As a matter of fact, I had to put in one scripture I put in here. Uh, Y'all, what Paul said there and said, man, follow me as I follow, basically follow Christ. You know, here it is right here for the Jimmy. You you want to, you can, you can get us to us two slides. You it's can't, slides. you can't preach Paul. You can't preach Paul, man. Come on. No, Come on, bro. Come on now. Hey, look, it's two <laughs> slides. Go ahead, go ahead and tell us that the two slides said, brother. I, I'm putting it up here for you. And then, oh, you want Jim? Oh, you want Brother Addison? You don't want to read it. Oh, I'll read it. Philippians okay. 3 and 12 said, Not as though I had already attained. Well. Either were already. Oh, well. But I follow after. Uh-huh. That I may be apprehended. Come on. That man. for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Come on now. Br brethren. Come on. I count not myself to have apprehended. Uh-uh. But this is one thing I do. Come on. Forgetting those things which are behind. Uh-huh. And reaching forth unto those things which are before. Come on. I press mm. toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. Let us therefore as many as be perfect well, be thus minded. Uh-huh. And if in anything you be otherwise minded, uh -huh. God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereunto we have already attained, mm -hmm. let us walk by the same rule. What? Let us mind the same thing. Oh, you come, know, on man, come, come on, come on, come on now. Man, you said the same this rules. Is, this is music to my ears. Come, come on, on bro. I mean, how can you get more beautiful than reading the scriptures? Is there anything or, or in not poetry even get by Shakespeare <laughs> or anybody that even compares? To the knowledge and just the, just what happens when you read the when you read the word of God, it speaks for itself. And well, that's because why it's a it's a lie. It's, on, it's different from reading anything. The other things are just words that are on a page. Mm. This is really living. This is the living word. Mm. It's alive. So when you read it, it bears witness with your spirit yeah. that it's truth. And and it's the only book that you can read on earth 
that's a that is a living book it's alive yes, and by sir. reading it it's going to have a different effect on you than reading any other book that's the and first thing you got to read it for yourself you do and look at the yeah. last part of that look at that because he even he even warned us based on this look at this go ahead and read that for brethren me. he says be followers together of me mm -hmm. and mark them which walk so as ye have as for an example you know the same go one <laughs> for many go ahead. for many yeah. walk i have told you often and i'll tell you even weeping mm. enemies of the cross of christ my god what a statement mm. Mm. whose end is destruction wow listen listen to this next parenthetical statement whose god is their belly wow and whose glory is their shame well, what do they, and what do they do? They earthly, things. earthly things. That's and that's what people preach another gospel because well, they, they manipulate it. the people. Yes, sir. Because it's all about it's all about minding their own business. It's all exactly. about their earthly things. Come the on, glory man. is in their shame. Yes, sir. For our conversation. Mm. Heaven, yes, sir. Whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, mm. who also our vile body mm. that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body come on according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all oh, things, things under his unto feet. himself he Man, can subdue it come on bro and then think about it look i was thinking about that when it said the glory that verse 19 it said in whose glory is in their shame that remind uh -huh. me of the banding of books uh-huh uh -huh. you see what i'm saying we don't want the history no, and you no. say, here's the thing about this pastor. When you read something like this right here, you don't need nobody explaining to you what that's saying. <laughs> um, and, and, and oftentimes, let me interpret that for you, brother. And then they tell me something totally different that I can't even see Amen. in these scriptures what they just said. I'm Amen. thinking, how in the world did you get that out of that? I don't need yeah. you to interpret. That's self-explanatory. It's yeah. saying what it's saying. Why can't I just say the word of God? On, but man. what it's saying, and that's what I stand on. Now, Come if on. you want to try, that's why people say, well, that's your interpretation, brother. Let me tell you something. It's a lot of this book. It says exactly what it says, Is period. It, and that's what it gets you sometimes when people will take something and then use it to hurt somebody. You know, because I, I remember like, you know, we were talking about the uh, preacher of homosexuality and so forth in the uh -huh, prison. Uh -huh. And and the, the issue their concern was because some people leave that message and go beat up one, you know? They beat up a homosexual, right? And you got to sort of say, what did you hear? What, yeah, what, what exactly. Did, what, did, exactly. That, did I preach another gospel to you that you went out and beat somebody up? That can't be of Christ because that that's, can't not, that's be. not even his nature. That's not his personality. And I guarantee in most cases, people who was preaching it didn't even tell you to do that. I got to call sin, sin, regardless of what it is. I'm not going to dance around that because now socially it's a sensitive area and y'all try to hold people to it, even though they're less than 1% of the whole population and they change the whole society. That I'm not governed by that. I'm governed by a totally different book. And so I got to tell you what it says. But I'm gonna be just as fervent against that. Is I'm gonna be against alcoholism? Is I'm gonna be against gossiping? Am I gonna be in knowing to do good and don't do it, which is also sin? I'm gonna be just as fervent and tell you the flat out gospel truth about that, the same as I'm gonna tell you the truth about every other thing that is in disobedience to the word of God. I don't put no more weight on one than I do the other, but I'm gonna give them all equal weight because they're all sin. And we that's all need to be delivered from them. And if they, yeah, and that's what I'm saying is, so if somebody walks away from your message to go and, you know, like I said, kill or, or beat They got the wrong somebody, message. They, they, the wrong get, message. They, they didn't hear your message. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, 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 that's, they, they, that's the whole point I'm saying. It's almost like I'm using that message. And that's what I think that's why they, that stuff came from, Jim, was somebody used the message to justify to give them a more authority to do steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. I mean, they didn't I hear like that. Paul says it. Who, who <laughs> has bewitched you? <laughs> who bewitched yeah. you? Who has bewitched And when you think of that, just Woo! that word bewitched, that's, you know, you're thinking somebody's controlling you. No. 
somebody is 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 controlling you from being free mm. yeah mm -hmm. so yeah uh, deep it's deep man yeah. that is deep that, that, yeah. that, oh man, and, and Jimmy, you remember that time we did the uh, we read John chapter? I think when I said, I think Jimmy was here one time. We did the one about John chapter eight. You know when Jesus was talking about uh, why, why can't you why can't you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> can't you understand the words coming out of my mouth? <laughs> yeah, and you know why? I'm gonna tell you why. Because you because you of your father the devil. Yes. He said, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gotta bring that. I have to bring that scripture up because that is exactly the same. Like you said, you preach a message and then if somebody go out there and actually beat somebody up or kill somebody, uh, after hearing the message, they were hearing you. <laughs> they couldn't understand what you were saying. Here it is right here. Uh, and, and Jim, you can read it from 42 to 47. From 42 to 47. Uh -huh, John chapter 8. He said, Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, then you would love me. Uh -huh. For I, I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came out of myself, mm. but he sent me. Uh -huh. Why do you not understand my speech? You know why? Even because you cannot hear my word. <laughs> You are of your father, <laughs> the devil, and the lust of Ooh. your father you would do. He was a murderer from the beginning Ooh. and abode not in the truth because there's no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. Yes, sir. For he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, nah, you come on. what are you coming uh, which of you can convince me of sin? Uh -huh. And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? Right. He that is of God heareth God's word. Mm. Ye, for, ye therefore hear them not, because you're not of God. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. Amen. That's exactly wow. what we're talking about. <laughs> you know what I'll say? You know what I'll say to that for the naysayers, Pastor? <laughs> Interpretation. I didn't interpret nothing. I just read. <laughs> I just read. <laughs> you interpret that. Yeah. He's a murderer. Just like John 10.10, 10, the one that uh, we never got to, uh, and maybe we'll get to, but the bottom line is John 10.10 10 says, what, what, what does John 10.10 10 say? Go ahead, Brother Addison. What 10.10 so says? He cometh not, but for steal, and to kill and to destroy. Mm. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more uh, abundantly. abundantly. Now, so, so therefore, anybody hears a message that come, that leads to steal, kill, and destroy, they didn't hear the message. They didn't hear the gospel. They heard something else. You know, it, just, it, just, it just tends to land to the point that if you've already decided to accept Mm. A, a particular philosophy of teaching. And I'm not trying to talk about anybody. No, let me just your, say this. Yeah, let's just say you. Let's just say you're Jehovah Witness mm -hmm. uh, or, or Seventh Day Adventist or whatever. And we start talking about something contrary that your particular religious belief is that you've been grounded and you believe. You're not going to hear my words because mm -hmm. you because 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 you're not of what I'm of. It's, you're of something else. Yeah. So you're not going to hear my words. Neither are you going to believe my speech because. Mm -hmm. You've already decided you already that decided. The, something else is the truth. Yes, and sir. And so regardless of what I say, Woo. even though I may be able to explain it to you scripturally, it's sure to you plain as day, mm. you're never going to accept it because you already preconditioned that something else is what it is. And wow. it's the same thing that goes on nowadays. It does. And it's the same, it's the same thing with politics. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else, if you decided, <laughs> This is what this is. Yes. It doesn't matter what kind of evidence I present to you and show you. You're not going to believe it. You're still, let me tell you, Shakespeare said that a man convinced Ooh. against his will okay. is of the same opinion still. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He's of the same opinion still. Yeah. You can sit there and argue with him and think, oh, I, I, I showed him. When he walks away, you know what he's saying in his mind? What an idiot. He still believed in what he believed before you even started talking to him. A man convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. 
Yeah. It, it, don't don't kid yourself. It's hard to change a person that's already rooted and grounded and decided that something else is the truth. Mm-hmm. It's hard to change that person. It's better to get a blank slate that don't believe nothing to affect them than it is to try to affect somebody that's already decided something else is true. It can't, yeah. It's tough, man. But it's tough. Wait, Jimmy, this is the thing. All we can do is share the gospel. Yes, period. It is the man. Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadish. That's that correct. changes the inner spirit of a person so that they can even open their eyes to get an understanding. Mm. The Ruach HaKadish. Yes, sir. That's mm. all we can do is plant. We yeah. let another man water, and we pray that the Holy Spirit reveals the unto Holy them the, Spirit. The, that's why, the truth that's why of it was the truth. narrative that Christ left and sent that back. He did. Right. He that's why, you know, that's why. That, who, who can, what is truth? Yes, sir. That's, why, that's why when I talk to people, I don't try to convince them that the gospel is true. I don't want to argue with them. I don't yeah. even want to be in opposition because once I get in opposition, I'm never going to reach you yeah. because obviously you now I've created resistance. Yeah. So you're rebelling against everything I say and you're pushing against it. You know what? I just want to have a casual conversation where I can just plant a seed. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to convince you not. I'm just, have you considered? Mm-hmm. Have you taken a look at this to consider this and factor that in? Well, how does this also fit in with that? I'm just oh. trying to plant a seed so you have to think about it and you'll go back to the spirit of god to, to, to the lord jesus christ and allow him to open it up to you because once i'm look here brother when we compete we all play sports look yeah i'm here to beat you i'm yeah. not going to listen to nothing you say yeah. are you on the other side of that of, yeah. of that of that of that uh scrimmage line uh, everything you say to me i know is to manipulate to try to get into my head to try to win the game to try to affect me and that's how i see that so yeah, regardless yeah. of what you say even if it's true you could tell me what the actual next play is and how to defend against that play. And if I did that, I could stop you from scoring a touchdown. But when you tell me that, I'm not going to believe that because yeah. in my mind, you're my opposition. We've created opposition against each other. You're trying to manipulate me to believe what you're telling so you can do something differently. Even though you were telling me the truth, I'm not huh. going to accept it because we're on opposing team. Exactly. And I'm a witness yes. of that to, on, on your behalf, uh, Jimmy. Because that's how we met. Mm-hmm. That's, that's how a we true met. statement. That's a true that, statement. That's exactly how we met. I was at a position to where I had began to see things <laughs> a whole lot different than what I was being taught. You had and, begun to question things. Yes. And Jimmy yes, saw that. And Jimmy said, man, he says, I got to give you something that's going to mess you up for the rest of your life. <laughs> He he said, you to you, I I know you, to this, you will not be able to sit there and listen to anything the same way anymore. And from the time he did, my life has changed. Mm. And the revelations that the Holy Spirit has been giving me is just, I mean, it's, there's, there's, it's unquantitative. The floodgate is open. I mean, it, it, it just blows me away. And, and Every time I think back to that, it was on hole number one at Pine Oaks Golf Course, Warner Robins Air Force Base, in the cool of the day, brother. <laughs> oh my God. All ordained by God. All hey, ordained all, by hey, look, God. Everything, it was predestined. Mm. Yes, sir. <laughs> From the foundation of the world. Yes. It was. Yes, brother, sir. It, and it did, was, I, it and was did a, I know what I was doing? Not really. Really, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just being obedient to what I was, what I, what and I you know like what I you said. To do. You said because I asked you, I said, "What are you listening to?" He said, "Brother, I'm working on the man in the mirror." I'm Ooh. listening and to what, the word. And what, what, and what was I listening to? I had in my listening to the Bible had every a, had day. A, had a Bible. I would listen his, to the Bible. Ear. Yes, sir. I was listening to the New Testament while I played golf, and that's how yes. I played. I would have New Testament running in my ears the whole time and playing golf. Yes. Feed my spirit and trying to hit this ball straight. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember it, just playing this game. <laughs> and, yeah, that yeah. and, and, and that's what we, matter of fact, one of the things we brought up there when we came here was the fact that like forums like this, or even forums in church services, discuss those things throughout the week. With the same people. way I met Bishop Lee, okay. the same way I met him,
mm-hmm. during the same day. I'm, I'm listening to the scriptures, yeah. and, and, and then from that from that second forward, acquaintances and friends that have enjoyed each other's company every second that we have an opportunity to get yes. together, and it's always been joyful and and, and just and just grateful for the time. You know, absolutely. Right. And, and that, what I'm saying, and that's what we said, we encourage people to do that. And when it, you know, church service is not where you just want to just hear the word of God. It's out there when you leave that building, be yeah. able to talk, talk about what talk about uh, that's where the ministry is. That's that's where the ministry is at. The ministry is period in a church. Exactly. Period. You make a difference outside the walls. Yeah. Let that yeah. man or woman that's teaching you, you know. You want to hear the word more than whatever script they show up on that screen or whatever script they had you to turn to. That's what you want to focus on. Yeah. And then you want to discuss it with other believers. And uh, somebody that's not a believer. Hey, man, God bless you. We Once again, I, I really enjoyed the discussion that was done this week for this Sunday, um, the uh, 5th or the 6th of August. Uh, and 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 you really need to take a look at this and and and, and analyze the scriptures. And, and I'm going to talk about the fact is that there's people today, as well as documented history of people preaching, teaching, authorizing another gospel. And what I mean another gospel means is that our gospel is, which may stand for good news, is to love one another. Our gospel is that God sent his son, his only begotten son. And I ain't talking about, I'm talking about his spirit, the spirit of Christ. His body came so that he can be and die for our sin. You you can't kill God, amen? But you can't, God sit there and put himself in the flesh, incarnated for the flesh, amen? So the point I'm saying is that the gospel is that God sent a savior for all mankind, for all mankind to be saved. And that's that's the teaching of the gospel, and that all of us can receive it. Don't mean we're gonna be forced to do it, and that's another thing about it is if you preach a gospel where you can you force somebody to be a believer, then, then you're not preaching the gospel. The gospel is an invitation, the gospel is a gift, and you don't make people receive a gift, you offer the gift. And for us as sowers and believers, we continue to preach the gospel so people can understand it. Amen. So well, I think you're going to love this. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh, leave comments if you, if you want to make comments. Uh, but just understand these sections, these sessions are designed to help us grow. And I also encourage, we talked about earlier, is don't forget to use whatever you did in this our sessions or what you heard in your church service. Don't forget to go out and discuss that with your fellow believers or for people that's not a believer. We don't go to we don't go to ministries just for ourselves. We go for the ministry to grow and to, to spread the gospel because that's the calling that we're supposed to have, amen? So don't forget that. And I just encourage you to use our session, our platform, or any other ministry platform. If they preach and teach the gospel, use that as discussions throughout the week so you can grow and other people can learn from it as well, amen? I just encourage you to do that, you know? And I put down here the scriptures. It says, no other gospel which is in Galatians 1, 6, says, I marvel you so soon removed from him that called you to the grace of Christ and to another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you, then that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. As we said before, so I say it now again, if any man preach any other gospel, Unto you than that you have received, let him be a curse. For I do not, for I do now persuade men, O God, or do I proceed or seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. So that's that's basically what we're trying to cover, and we talked about it. Some great discussions. So <laughs> I hope you enjoy the the uh, session that we went through today. And uh, we will see you when we see you. I'm going to break this down in about from 
from A all the way to G if necessary uh, for you to look at, analyze, and study. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you when I see you. I bless you. I appreciate you listening. I appreciate your support, and continue to do what you believe is right, and continue to lift all those up in prayer to preach the true gospel. Amen. God bless you. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you when I see you. All right. God bless you. Rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.